Deputy Chief Alan Clark with the Jasper Fire Department. We're located in Jasper, Alabama, about 40, while, 40 miles northwest of Birmingham. We've got a population around 14,000. We have a coverage area of 30 square miles. We're here looking at our 2020 Typhoon Pumper today. This is going to serve our residents in our area. Uh, we're excited to be here at E1 uh, with our new truck. Some of the features uh, that we look at, we look at the cab design, the, the integrated roll cage, the, because of the safety for our men, we want them being the safest equipment possible. Uh, that, then that is one of the top things we do look at. We like the top mount pump that allows you, uh, where you have uh, 360 degrees virtually access uh, to be able to look at your scene. You're not, you're not on one side of traffic, you're not on the wrong side of your scene. So that's some of the things we look at uh, with this uh, fire truck. One of the features when we got with Sunbelt Fire on ordering this truck, and by the way, they're, they're awesome to deal with in Fairhope, Alabama. We wanted something easy carry on the interior. Uh, as you can see, we've got the coated interior in here. It's the, you can wipe it down. It's very durable. Uh, in the past, you would have plastic or something like that on some of the trucks. It doesn't hold up well. You know, firefighters are always tearing things up. We're used to that. But uh, uh, no stainless to polish. Just, just wipe it up, disinfect it, and go. So that was one of the things that we really uh, pushed on this. And, and Sunbelt was great to let us know that was available on these okay. trucks. One of the things we like, there's no wasted space in this truck. When we ordered the 450 horse motor, they did advise us we could move some of the doghouse forward, which gave us about 18 inches, I think, more leg room in this truck, which we're excited about. That's one of the things you can never get too much room back here. As you can see, they've even utilized this space for storage under here instead of it just being dead space. That's something we're excited about. When we're specking the truck, one of the things we wanted to really uh, emphasize, we needed our compartments lit up and we need them lit up at night. If, if any time you've ever worked at night, you know how critical that can be. As you can see, E1 done a very good job lighting these compartments. They're very lit up. It gives you a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, shelf area in these. Uh, makes it easier to work out of. It makes our job a lot easier. One of the things you see, the top mount pump, this is only our second. We're a small town, uh, but this is, uh, this is only our second top mount. After going to the top mount, we, wouldn't, we don't think we'd ever go back to a side mount. It just gives you so much more. As you can see, if I'm running, if I'm in a scene here and I've got my headset on, I can see all around. I can see everything going on from, the, from this direction, this aspect. It also keeps our guys from down, be it where if you're on a car fire or something like that, you're not down on the side of this truck where traffic is or a brush fire, whatever it may be, off the road. It gives you that added uh, you know, a level of safety also. The D1 process has been awesome for us. As we said, we're a small town. We actually have a 94 model E1 that was ordered through here years ago. We still have that truck and it's in service today. Uh, but with Sunbelt Fire being our dealer down there, we, we the process started with them and then went through E1 uh, to see that we got what we needed, not you know, the truck we needed to do what we needed it to do. And as you can see, that's what we've got. And it's been a, a great process. We're excited about getting this truck back to our residents and getting it in service.